Role-playing game writers, it looks like you're going to need to be the bigger person. Um, out of the ten cards that I pulled, you got seven of them reversed. A reverse card is blocked, delayed, healing, or internal energy. And based on how everything else turned out, I'm going to go with more of an internal energy. Now, in regards to that, it seems like more of an internal boundary. And there's going to be a new balance that's going to come from this. Now, I'm not sure what's exactly been going on with your project, but the Emperor is the, is the major Arcana card that came up not reversed. The other two did, and the other two reversed were, or the other two my, uh, majors were reversed. So since these are the only two, well, and the Queen of Swords, and I'm going to get to that in a second. Um, I just kind of feel like there's going to be a lot of internal energy for the month of April for you guys. Uh, it's a new boundary, new protection, a new balance. That's kind of what I've already mentioned. And I said, be the bigger person. I'm looking at my notes over here. Um, the card at the bottom of the deck was the Four of Cups reversed. And it feel the thing that came to me closer, the, the saying that came to me when I was pulling the cards, uh, blocking a new emotion. It just kind of seems like I'm wondering if you're letting your guard down for or letting your boundaries down when they shouldn't be or for people who shouldn't be having your boundaries. You're bending your boundaries for people who you shouldn't be bending your boundaries for. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, the numbers you might want to pay attention to are 8, 3, 4, 4, 18, 2, 17, 3, 4, 4. Now, if you add all those numbers up, you get 67. And if you add 6 plus 7, you get 13. And, and that 13 is the death card. Death does not equal death. Death means change. So something needs to die in order for something to grow. So it just kind of feels like there's going to be a new balance coming up um, and a new boundary being made. So that's just kind of where it's, how I'm getting all of that. Um, the color, I'm going to... Like, I've got two colors here that I try to pick out. And the color that I usually I got this time was like this gray-blue. It was rather interesting to me. And then there's a couple of reds here. But Rust Red kind of came up, and I know that this, she, her skin is brown. Yes, her, her, she, this is a black woman. But combined with the other red colors that are on here, I just kind of got like a Rust Red that just like started screaming at me. So I would say like this gray, bluish, and Rust Red. That's kind of an interesting way to kind of how I got that color. Um... As for elementally, you've got earth, air, fire, and water. You're, str you're kind of evened out. Earth and fire are your strongest. Now, this is kind of where I got a little stumped while I was looking at your cards. Um, I couldn't figure out what direction I would advise you to take going forward astrologically because I'm not an astrologer. Um, I had to pull out some other cards, and I had to figure some other stuff out that way. Now... Your major arcana, whoops, I put them away. That's not, I didn't mean to do that. Um, I think that was, hold on, I'm sorry. I put these away. This is what it should be, and this one, I'm sorry. I did not mean to do that. Moon and star, okay. So this is going back to the very beginning when I mentioned about the Queen of Swords. So the major arcana cards that came up were the Emperor, the Moon, and the star. And the emperor is associated with fire, the moon is associated with water, and uh, the star is associated with air. So, I kind of think that if you want, this is kind of gonna go two different ways. If you are feeling unbalanced with this two of pentacles, which actually makes more sense now that I'm saying it out loud, um, to balance out your major arcana cards, I would focus on the earth element. Uh, that is, and the in order to get more Earth into your vicinity, I would focus on Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Now, I'm going back to this Queen of Swords thing a little bit because I got a little stumped while I was looking at these cards trying to figure out what they were trying to tell you. The Queen of Swords is associated with air. The Two of Pentacles is associated with Earth. 
And the emperor, again, is associated with fire. So if you want to balance yourself out elementally, because these are the only three, these are the three cards that came up uh, not reversed, I would focus on the water element. You've got air, earth, and fire. So I would focus on the water element. That's the emotional part. And in order to take a look at the um, elements or the signs of Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, they might have some uh, notes for you to adhere and bring into yourself for the month. Um, that's kind of how I got that. And it'd be very interesting to know how this comes up with whoever's writing an RPG story. Because it, it's just, those are two different ways that kind of came up. And they were, it just, I couldn't, it was a weird puzzle to try to put together. So I, I, that's something that I would really be interested in knowing um, how this kind of turns out for you. Um, so I do pull a couple of other cards. We've got Super Villain, which was reversed. So I don't know what that means to your project. It could mean don't invite a new bad guy, something of that nature. Uh, you also have Clock, which is not reversed. So I not a time against the clock. And another note, another card that I pull for a writing prompt is how can you make your latest scene the most memorable in the book or story or screenplay or whatever, or I guess in your uh, RPG game. <laughs> uh, memorable can be small moments or a line of dialogue. It doesn't have to be a battle. So just something to remember there. Um... Yeah, so that's kind of what I have for the month of April. If you are interested in seeing more, uh, give me a follow. Uh, like, subscribe, share, all that kind of fun jazz. Um, to let you know, I am also starting a new Tarot for Writing community, uh, kind of where a lot of the advertisements are going to be gone, and it's just going to be a place where writers can get together and kind of people who think collect not collectively, but think along the same lines, and we can all kind of just meet without feeling more comfortable around other writers, if that makes sense. Um, if you want to know more about that, I am actually, go, or, sorry, go to the link in my bio and you can uh, read the page. It's all about that. Now, I do have a 50% off lifetime membership going on right now. I am not sure how long that's going to last. Uh, but if you want to take a look and read all about that, uh, go to the link in my bio and I will see you in the next one.